Before we begin the video, I would like to extend a big thank you to our new Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Will Broughton, Josh Combs, Crazily Insane, Jacob Chapman, Mark the Electrician, Chowla, Michael Hawk, Dubba Minus, Tracerman, Blake97, Squirtle Bob, Graffiti Turtle, Thorian, Benjamin William Chapman, One Daxter, Lee, Jan Nuss, Carson, Nia, Stephen Mueller, Carol Zhao, Angel Morales, John Beck, Joshua Teese, Dominic Cuomo, Chris Stafford, Vastel, Shkodran Yesaj, and I would also like to extend a big thank you to our executive producers, The Anime Hybrid, Joshua Fix, the Gimpster 101, and Bevan Brummett. Thank you all very much for your support. If you wish to become a YouTube member, click the Join button, which is right beside the Subscribe button. And if you wish to become a Patreon supporter, click the link below in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Gotcha. Yes, yes, it does. Oh, 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 why are you son of a? Oh. 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 God. <laughs> <laughs> Wild card, bitches! Yeah! Really? I need health. <laughs> ah, didn't matter. <laughs> if you want somebody gone, but you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. Wait, hang on. If you want somebody gone, but you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. The immediate murder professionals. professionals. <laughs> yes. Oh, this series. Um, we heard Hasbin Hotel got a green light from uh, you know from uh, Vivzy. I saw that on Twitter and was just ecstatic because you know. Has been Hotel, I think, is the one she devoted. I think I, I'm not gonna say she devoted like was the most devoted to it, but I think that's the one they were aiming for to be more of a like professionally made serial. Whereas this, I think they wanted to kind of stay on YouTube and like be be their own thing, where they could still have some measure of con like full control. Whereas you know how studios operate. Studios are going to try and, like, wrestle as much creative control to themselves because they think they know what's best. Yeah. And that's always a problem. Meaning Hasbun Hotel probably won't remain exactly what she had in her head. In which, that could be a problem. But again, if it works, if if they give her a chance for a season and it continues to work like it did with the first, with the pilot, oh my goodness. And plus... Keep in mind, these, like, the two, first two, like, Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel were made over a series of years. I don't know if I'm going to have people throw shade at me for this, but honestly, I thought Hell of a Boss was even funnier. No, I mean, everyone's entitled to their I opinion. I enjoyed it more, plus I love Richard Horowitz, so. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, because fucking Invader sure. Zim, dude. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, I've, she's... I've been a Jonathan Vasquez fan since I was in high school, <laughs> so Invader Zim and Johnny the Homicidal Maniac and stuff has always been something that I'm all about. And this is uh, very mindless inspired. Mindless self-indulgence, uh, shut me up video and stuff. And this is very inspired <laughs> by Joan and Vasquez. I wish she would do something new. <laughs> well, I think like they did the Zim movie, but like I want, I want to see more stuff. I think him. he's happy yeah. with what he's doing, though, man. I mean, because the thing is, creative people who have the very creative influx, they have their peak eras where they're extremely active, but then they have their reclusive era, their reclusive sides, which. Can come and go sometimes because sometimes, like for instance, there's some that last forever. For instance, J.D. Salinger, who wrote Catcher in the Rye, you know, he wrote like several books in the beginning of his career, but then Catcher in the Rye took off, and then he sort of became more and more reclusive, and then eventually he just stopped. He just stopped publishing stuff, and eventually he got to the point where he wrote so much stuff he literally had like a vault filled with manuscripts and stuff like that. And his family are, are, like, fighting over it to be released. But I think, uh, effectively, Salinger put it in his will, I don't want this released to the public. So, effectively, his family just has a treasure trove of 
J.D. Salinger's writings, but yet they'll never see the light of day. And I think Jean and Vasquez, I think that's one thing. I think maybe he, an artist never stops creating most of the time. There's some that turn into like, you know, collecting jars filled with fingernails and piss, but but that's Howard Hughes. But at least if Jonan doesn't yeah. do much else, then we have Vivzy Pop who has definitely given off some Jonan Vasquez. Vibes oh, dude, clearly. Stuff, so. Like, this is like, this is like second generational, like, inspirational work. Like, you can tell the Jonan Vasquez inspiration with this. And plus the fact that she's working with Richard Horowitz. So that was the whole thing a... is when we watched uh, Husband Hotel, I was like, why does this remind me of something? And I was like, it <laughs> took me until like after we finished watching it. And it was like a couple days later. And I was like, reminds me of a Vader Zim. Yes. And I was like, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> and you actually wrote a comment down below. Yeah. And I highlighted it. And then people were just like, like yes. Vader Zim was what I was trying to think of. Yes. Yes. And hell of a boss. And then Richard Horowitz shows up in Hell of a Boss's pilot episode, and we're just like, ha! Ha! I knew it! <laughs> well, not only do they have uh, the, you know, Invader Zim himself, Richard Horowitz, but they've also got, uh, they've also got Brandon Rogers. They've, they've just assembled a great cast for these. A tremendous cast. And I cannot wait to see what the hell these, like, these imps are going to get up to. And especially with the creative freedom that Vivzy and her team have on, you you know, just making their own thing. I mean, I'm excited. I want to watch this. Why aren't we watching this? I'm watching it right now. Put it up on screen. I was a good person before it all went down. I was good my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was Horowitz. Oh, this is Luna's origin story, isn't it? She like. That's what broke her. I'd at least turn it off. Not don't let the kids watch that. <laughs> Luna, no. <laughs> you sure that's her? I think it is. It's the voice sounds the same. Oh, man, She's going home to like... kill him. She's gonna kill him. <laughs> it is. It's Luna. <laughs> she a family. We could have had a family. Oh dear God, what have I done? In front of you all. I'm so sorry, my children. Don't forget to work on your time table. You do right in life. Play by all the rules. And still get sent down here with all the Hitlers and Epsteins of the world. After one measly massacre propelled by blind rage. So that's why I'm here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I thought it was Luna. I didn't think it was. So it wouldn't have made any sense for her to turn into a wolf. Yeah. Well, honestly, I don't know what the rules are. You know, why they would... For instance... I feel like there's going to be some kind of theme to it. Well, like, there's going to be some reason. That for instance, Angel Dust, Angel Dust was a prostitute, was a human prostitute, but yet has turned into a fluffy spider. I mean, that... I don't know. There may still be a reason behind that, too. Who knows? Well, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Either way, yeah. Sorry. Massacre propelled by blind rage. So that's why I'm here. To get my revenge. I mean, was she hotter? <laughs> I had a hard time understanding the unprompted melodrama you just spat at me, tits. Anyway, I don't think you quite understand how we're operating down here. See, we take revenge out on the living, and it sounds like the core cast of your sitcom of the death, frankly, are all probably down here in hell with you. Not all of them. That whore survived. Now they all call her a hero. 
How does it feel to have survived such a crazy bitch? I just hope that sick woman finally found peace. You are so brave. Here's two million dollars. Oh, thank you. Congratulations on fucking some Mary, dude. Shit, she made so much goddamn cash. Getting shot was the best thing to happen to her. You're a hero. You're a hero, girl. My mama's a hero. She is a hero. <laughs> You're a hero. You're a hero. You're a hero. Oh, oh, oh! You're a hero. She is not a hero. No, she's not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. A <laughs> hero. <laughs> Moxie, no. Moxie, stop shaking. You're gonna shoot our only hail hand. Wow. I feel so loved here. Just take a deep breath. <laughs> See, she's a hellhound. And later Okay. Out. But it's a family. Under what circumstances would we ever need to kill a human family? I mean, if that's what the client wants. Maybe like a shitty dad. Or a mob family. That's understandable. But to a rather <laughs> innocent, seemingly in this instance, upper middle class family bloodline? Hey, you don't know they're innocent. This kid probably sets dogs on fire. Maybe this girl gets off to bullying Australian kids online, and this guy... This guy definitely watches. Exactly. Humans <laughs> are full of secret nasties. It's why so many of them end up here. Oddly specific. But guilty and innocent aren't our business, uh, mm. Kip. See, here's the thing about projecting that. When you project that onto people, you wind up hating them subconsciously for no reason. I choose not to do that. I choose to try and see the best in people... But when I find shit out, I'm typically not surprised because a lot of human beings have a dark side. A lot of human beings. Myself included, which I'm not going to discuss. Anyway. Killing who we're paid to is our business. Shoot the target. I just think it's a bit excessive and we could be a bit more selective. You're in hell. Bullseye. Damn it! I just caught those eels! Don't worry, we'll get that skank in less than 24 hours or your first kill is free! When did we start implementing that deal? When you set fire to my office in front of a client, you fucking dick shit! Your fancy book is still intact! You mean, our only ticket to the other side? Yeah, got it. And that's why you're my favorite, Looney. You get a tweet now. Ew, stop. Uh, oh. You're so gross. <laughs> oh, stop. I get enough of that from my therapist. Now let's go lick some ass. The expression is kick some ass. Blitz. Mine's better. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's gotta be her. <laughs> this is too easy. Moxie, do you want this one? Me? Yeah, this one's simple enough for you to handle. It's just a happy mother who just got out of the hospital. Snooze you lose, Mox. And I got you, bitch. Wait, are we actually killing a family? No, no a just the woman. We're just killing a mother. We're ruining a family. But, hold, hold on, hold on. Let's just think about it. <laughs> what was that, Ralphie? I don't know, Mark. She's ruining her own family. Like... Whatever. Gonna be a dinner. All right, kids, guns out. Looks like we got some oh, hell. To catch, youngins. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Moxie? <sighs> I'm sorry. They just seem so wholesome and happy. It's because you don't know the context, Mox. You don't know mm -hmm. the context of how much of a bitch she is. Plus, that family seems kind of crazy. I mean, well, don't get me wrong. I'm all about guns. I, I own several guns. It's just, I'm not going to, like, go willy-nilly and try and shoot. As soon as, uh, like, a bullet comes flying in my window, I'm not going to go just be like, let's go hunting, kids. He's thinking about boondocks. When he finds out, he's like, oh, she's a hoe. Yeah, she's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Pimp named Slickback walks in. Her pimp literally walks into the house, and he's still in denial. <laughs> It's like, so you're saying you, you're saying yes, for God's sakes. That's just like this bitch here. She's a hoe. Let her die. She's a bad person. I panicked. Oh, who the fuck is 
innocent moxie. From the moment of birth, you're already a parasite, leeching off your mama's tits. Get the fuck over yourself, you baby dick A new hole! Scatter! Get it. Oh no! <clears throat> Why does that guy remind me of someone? Oh! Well, hello, little ones. Aren't you cute? The fuck is up with that chair? Yep, they're terrible people. All of them. Uh, they're all murderers, it looks like. They even killed... Dude, they killed... I can't believe it. They killed Eddie! <laughs> For you Iron Maiden fans out there, I appreciate your... your... I mean, to be fair, I think he was already dead. but Undead. Well, they, well, they mounted him on the wall. Either way... <sighs> Damn, that sucks. Bless this mess. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Crumbs. <laughs> nice. Meanwhile, in the background, you can yeah, still hear him going. going very explicit with his <laughs> description. He's just like, oh, all the nasty things I plan to do to you. Meanwhile, he's got a shotgun. He's got a shotgun butt in his neck. Not today, Satan! Gonna see y'all back where you came from! That sounds very... Oh... Ah, there you go, Moxie. Do your job, man. You got this. <laughs> oh, I had that fucking shot. God damn it, Moxie. Satan, we return your filthy creatures back to the pits of hell. May the root of evil remain honored as we continue thy work. <laughs> yeah, there's a problem with that. Yeah, that's not exactly how it works, ladies. N yeah, the, <laughs> they're kind of bored of this shit. I mean, it's kind of hard to it's kind kill of what them I was with. It. I was like, what's even gonna happen if they get set on fire? <laughs> no, nothing. The only thing that's gonna happen is that the ropes are gonna burn. That's it. I mean, I can fake it if that'll get your dick hard. Oh, shit. Well. I'll just shoot you in your smart ass mouth. That would be more effective. Bless. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Oh, Moxie with the You're money shot. Goddamn paycheck for this one, Mox. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I compromised our objective and put us in harm's way. It won't happen again. I promise. Apology accepted. Oh. if you ever pull a stunt like this again, I will fuck you and your wife. All righty, <laughs> Damn. Get off. Uh, yes, uh, give me a he is a demon. I mean, yeah. come on. <laughs> he has to be okay, so, somewhat Luna, evil. We're ready to come home, dear. Still going. <laughs> what are you gonna do, little guy? Kill us? I should. You people are monsters. But you should have a chance at a life and a purpose. Look at your children. They have their whole future ahead of them. You are going to face your crimes justly. I will call your earthly authorities, and they will make sure you are dealt with fairly. I don't think that's a phone. I'm handling this. That's My that's a remote. Oh shit. Uh, do you uh, do you have a phone to summon nine one one? Yeah, it's in the kitchen. Then what is this for? It's a universal remote. Got it for the kids. Ah. There he is. Have a good wank off session, Moxie. Excuse me. Look, I don't care where you come in the living world. Just come to your job on time. All right. See you at the office. You doing okay, sweetie? Better now, honey. I think I just needed a minute to process. You have a good heart, honey. Just a fuzzy head. Oh. <laughs> See, that's a that's a. <laughs> well. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Another mission accomplished, and Moxie finally learned not to fuck up. And killing people isn't that big a deal if they try to kill you back. That's messed up. But I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that family. Okay, I think it's uh, okay. So, the writing in this, you can tell. Brandon fucking Rogers, of course he's gonna be writing that that nasty ass shit, and of course Viv being being in the midst of this, I mean you know, she's this is her brainchild, so God, dude, I'm just I love this stuff, I love this so much, I can't. Mm. Is there anything else at the end? Let's let's see. Let's voice director Richard having Richard Horowitz as the Lee as the uh, voice director. Good call. Good call. Nope. Oh, plus the money that Viv... The only thing I'll say is I think they should have used Immediate Murder Professionals, at least a clip from it, like as the <laughs> opening theme been, song. That would have been idea. Uh, I Honestly, man, maybe they're saving it for something. Maybe, maybe they're saving it for like a season finale of this. Because if they're going to be more regular with Hell of a Boss, considering... Well, here's the thing about uh, Hell of a Boss. I didn't think about this in the beginning. Now that they've signed a big deal with has -Been Hotel, I guarantee you they got a lot of money up front. And I guarantee you they're dedicating some of that money to the production of Hell of a Boss. And if they're able to push out Hell of a Boss at a more at a higher frequency, I'm all about that. Like hell yeah, dude. Ugh. Although it does look like this is gonna come out faster now because of them having to do Hasbin Hotel at the studio and stuff. So. Well, yeah, Hasbin Hotel. Uh, you know, I think they're they're doing pretty much like a co-production. Like they're using the resources that are available to them from. Uh, I think it was they signed a deal with uh, Time Warner to produce it through HBO. So, I think that'll be very interesting. You know, uh, like having Time Warner's assets, like the like the multiple animation studios they have at their disposal. I mean, they'll be able to crank out episodes at a pretty high rate. And this, I mean, this is no different. I mean, this, 
they considering the team that Viv has already put together that worked on the pilots for both of these, I mean, I guarantee if they have the money, they're going to put forward the effort and make this at a more regular rate. It won't be probably as highly polished as has been Hotel, but the polish in this alone, I mean, I thought this was really, really good. And if they can do quick 13-minute episodes and stuff like that, shit yeah, bro. I'm all in for this. I want to see more. I'm already supporting Viv on Patreon, so I, I, the more the merrier. I mean, I'm, I'm all, I'm all in on this. So again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for those of you uh, who just tuned in, if you want to see more from Vivzy Pop or uh, more from everyone else involved in this, then feel free to click the uh, channel name and the title of the video. It will take you directly there. You can see the original pilot for Hell of a Boss. You can see the original pilot of Hasman Hotel if you haven't already. I recommend it that it is amazing stuff. And also, if you want to see more from us, you know what to do. You hit that subscribe button, you ring that bell to stay notified. Stay awesome, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.